Police chief reveals how six-year-old girl was found alive under staircase two years after she was reported missing. CNN: A child who was reported missing in 2009-19 when she was four years old was found hidden under a wooden staircase with her uncustodial mother. In a home, officers had visited several times while investigating her disappearance. Authorities said the child, Paisley John Sirtis, now six, was reported missing on July 13, 2019, from Cayuga Heights, a village on the outskirts of Itaca, New York. At the time, she was believed to have been a abducted by her non-custodial parents, Kimberly Cooper and Kirk Sirtis Jr., police said in a news release. Paisley and her mother were found Monday when investigators spotted a pair of tiny feet in the secret space under wooden steps leading to a basement. We should all wait until the facts come out said Carol K. Morgan, who represented Cooper. Everyone should be patient before they draw their own conclusions. In the basement of the house, detectives searching for the girl found an apartment, including a bedroom with Paisley's name on the wall. Saul Gertis, police chief Joseph Sinagra, told CNN on Wednesday the bed appeared to have been slept in. Our officers asked, is, it, is she here? And they denied it that anybody was living in that house, in that particular room, the chief said in an interview. They said they had set the room up like that in the event that Paisley should ever return. Paisley John Sirtis in the portal re released by the Sangatis Police Department. Throughout the 2.5 year investigation, authorities received several tips about the Saugeltis area, home where the child was eventually located, but each time the resident denied it knowing anything about the girl's whereabouts. The release said, Sangertis is about 160 miles east from Cayuga Heights. The quick answer, that's our criminal justice system, Sinagra said, Sinagra said of his department's inability to find the girl earlier, adding that the Monday was the first time officers were able to obtain factual information, not hearsay, and the secure search warrant. Sinagra said the homeowners were already always adversarial of the officers, accusing police of the harassing and the bad badgering them, and insisting we should be out looking for Paisley. Sinagra told the CNN on Wednesday that the officers previously had been in the home lawfully a dozen times, but were not allowed in the basement or bedroom areas. We are bothered by the fact that this went on for two years, the chief said. They lied to us for two years, including the father stating that he had no idea where his daughter was. On several occasions, investigators were allowed into the home without the warrant, but they were given limited access by Kirk Schultes Jr. and Kirk Schultes Sr., police said in a news release. That changed Monday when police received information the child was being hidden and got a warrant for the home. The officers arrived outside the home about 4 p.m. to ensure that no one left. Police then executed the warrant a little after 8 p.m., the chief said. The homeowner denied it knowing the girl's whereabouts, saying he had, had not seen her since she was reported missing in 2019. The police said the secret location underneath the stairs to the basement appears to have been built to hide the girl. Something 
peculiar, peculiar in a stair staircase. An hour into a search, one detective noticed the steps leading to the basement were oddly constructed. The detective Ark Tielli, Tielli pointed the flashlight through the crack in the wooden steps and saw what seems to be a blanket, the release said. There was something about the staircase that bothers him, Sinagra said of the officer who discovers the hidden compartment. As officers began to pull the stairs apart, Sinagra said the silence was early. The child never made a sound, Kimberly made never made a sound, Sinagra said. The question that needs to be answered is what she was told by, by her parents that would keep her so still and quiet while the cops were walking up and down and walking up and down the steps while they are talking the step, steps apart, Sinagra added. Investigators removed the several of the steps, the release the added, and that, that is when detectives saw a pair of tiny feet. The Doreen Paisley, Paisley's basement room opened up onto a short hallway that lay lead directly to the secret compartment under the stairs, about two, two, three to four feet away, Snagra said. The child and her abductor, Kimberly Cooper, were found hidden in the dark and wet enclosure. The police released the said. Authorities believe the Cooper and the child have been staying at the home since they disappeared in 2019. Sinagra said, adding the staircase appears to have been built to hide them both. It's our opinion that the location was used probably each and every time that we sent an officer to the residence, Sinagra said. Police arrested Cooper and Shurtis Jr., the girl's biological parents, as well as Shurtis Sr., the released said. Cooper was charged of two misdemeanors, custodial interference in the second degree and endangering the welfare of the child, and remains in jail because of the prior arrest warrant issued through family court, according to police. Kirk Shortis Jr. and Kirk Shortis Sr were each charged with custodial interference in the first degree of felony and endangering a welfare of the child, a disdemeanor, but were aligned and released on their own recognizance, police said. All three dependents were ordered by the court to stay away from the child. Cooper, who made bail, and the two men appears to in court Wednesday. The case, cases for the men were adjourned to later this month. Their lawyers declined to comment. The Cooper will be back in court on March 2nd. The child was found to be in good health and released to their released to her legal guardian and re reunited with her older children. Sister, police said. On Tuesday, detectives met with the family that has the child, and she was in very good spirits, the chief said. One last step, a McDonald's drive through The younger was upset and was concerned when police first rescued her, Sinagra said. That begs the question, what was the child told about the police, and do you know why the police would come and take her, Sinagra said. That's what I'm concerned about, and I'm sure that when she was severe, several of our officers who were heavily armed, that was somewhat traumatizing to the child. Before she was released to her legal guardian, detectives drove to the girl to police headquarters, in part to some medics would exam her. As they drove, they saw, she saw a McDonald's McDonald's and recalls uh, having some a long time ago, the chief said. So the detectives turned the car around around and went to the drive through at McDonald's, uh, picked her up and Happy Meal, and brought her back to the headquarters. And she was fine after that, the chief added. 
the investigation is ongoing, police said, we don't know what Paisley's lived through for the past two years, Sinagra said, and we don't know what kinds of damage may have been done after because of the conditions that she had to live under. CNN's Jessica Prater and Kelly Westerhope contributed to this report.